What is going on my friends and welcome back to another video on the channel. Well, in today's video we are going over Solana as its price is at a massive point of liquidity that I believe will be crucial for the not only just the next days but possibly even the next few weeks. So with that said we're not going to waste any more time at all and we're going to get straight into today's video. Now looking at Solana we can see here that we are now retesting the top side of the channel that we've been in for about about eight months now right. You can see that we've put in these consistent points of resistance to the top side a double establishment of support to the bottom side this tells us that we absolutely need to break this channel now i know that this looks fantastic and we are pushing towards the top side right now and that whenever we look at our oscillator for example we are coming off of not only an oversold reading but a bullish divergence reading on the daily charts which is typically a fantastic sign we still have to understand that while we are still below this point of rejection we very well could get some type of continuation to the downside especially if this is going to play out in some type of abc fashion all the way back down towards what 11 to possibly even $12 one thing that I want to remind you guys is that we are seeing not only just some type of um, continuation to the downside on the weekly charts but also we did just get that overbought reading we did just get that red dot flash these things tell us that hey we're maybe getting a little bit extended to the top side some type of cool down is rather likely you look at your Bollinger Bands we did break that 20 SMA but we are trying to back test it right now so we're not out of the woods yet of seeing some type of continuation back to the downside so because of that we need to be incredibly incredibly cautious right now so what this tells me is okay well how do we identify when this is better how do we identify that we're actually in a situation where in which we will continue to the top side and we're kind of out of the woods of this entire move so what i'm looking for at this given point is for the solana price to break 25 dollars the reason i say 25 is first and foremost that gets us above this massive wedge and which we've been in for the last couple months not only does it get us above this point of resistance but if we do draw on our fibonacci 618 to 786 retracement zone here we go from the swing high down to the swing low you can see that getting above 25 dollars also puts us above the 786 levels which hypothetically should get us all the way back up towards 2705 which is the range high that we put in now it may break 25 come back down and back test but generally speaking we will come back up to retest the range high if we break that 786 level not only do all of these things also play out but in this situation this does give us a confirmed bounce again off of that 20 week simple moving average as we mentioned before because if we're capable to get back up here it pretty clearly says look we established some support and now we're continuing back up towards these higher levels and so obviously that is a fantastic sign and it does start to counter and contradict some of those more macro bearish signs that were flashing over the last few weeks so overall what i'm saying is that look if you're going long right now and you're trying to put on some leverage i'm waiting a little bit we are not in a situation in which we are getting overextended just yet you can see we're not having any of this bearish divergence play out you look back here right we got this bearish divergence we got this high and we got this lower high into the high higher high that led us to the pullback to the downside we saw this overbought territory flash whenever we were putting in these highs back here so it was a warning that even though we were going to continue upwards that we needed to not get too far ahead of ourselves because some type of bigger pullback was likely on the way we're not getting that those signals flashing right now and so although you know i am being cautious i am expecting that we very well could get above this 25 dollar level i simply just want to see that happen because if it happens because we're not seeing those bearish divergences and those bearish signals flashing we very well could still have a lot of room to the upside to work as we do start to try to exit from this pattern see another great example of this is we look at our market oracle right you look at your market oracle and we are finally starting to establish the green red ratios if you look back a little bit throughout this bear market we've pretty much just been red right throughout this entire time we look at our market oracle and we had these moments where we would see a bit of a pump but our bear e signal would flash as we did start to crash back down below the market oracle because we were not ready at all to get out of this bear market even whenever we saw this pump back here we were not ready but as you can see the tide is shifting now we are starting to finally put in the green red ratios in which we're getting a little bit of green and some red and some green and some red but mostly green over the last few weeks and this is a sign that the tides are shifting and that doesn't mean that they're for sure going to shift right now but they're shifting you know nonetheless and i do expect some more room to the upside to work once we finally finally are capable of breaking that 25 dollar level to the top side let's go ahead and get that marked out okay right there so that's what i'm on the lookout for now if you do want access to my market oracles if you do want access to my oscillators that identify your bullish bearish divergences your overbought territories and more you do get 30 percent off with chart prime it is in the link down in the description below they did recently partner with the channel they have the best indicators oscillators in the game in my opinion and they work the most consistent that I've seen. So definitely do 
go check it out again you get 30 percent off but with that said guys i mean that's about it for the most part just be aware that we still have room to the upside to work we don't need to be in a rush right now let this thing break 25 dollars. let it get above some of these massive massive points of resistance that we can see forming around 23 to 24 dollars let it clear these points of rejection and once it does then we're in a much better point of continuation at which i will very likely start to open up some more long trades on solana and of course i will update you as that does play out so with that said that's going to be about it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy and i hope you guys did enjoy some of the new features of our oscillators and using it for our bullish and bearish divergence it makes my life a lot easier especially as an influencer i don't want to take too much of your time but i want to get my points across so it definitely helps out so if you want access to them yourself again you get 30 percent off with the link in the description but with that said that's about it of course i hope you guys did enjoy and i'll see you all next time peace